Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to finish off the driving assist settings. And under that, we have notifications. So what is the notifications? First, you have to click on the gear. Then you scroll down and go to the driving assist. Under that, we have notifications. So under there, there's two sections, the roadside assist and the driver brake suggestion. So the first item under the road sign assist is the excess speed notification method. And under there, there is the option of none, visual, and visual and audible. So what does that all mean? So none means turn this feature off. So it will not tell you that you, you have gone beyond the speed limit. Visual means that on the display, you would see that the road sign where you have the speed limit will turn red if you've actually gone beyond the speed limit. And then visual and audible means that there will be the same sign in red and then they'll also have a beeping sound that will tell you that you have gone beyond the speed limit. I have a video that will be coming up soon that will demonstrate the roadside assist and how the visual and audible notifications will show up. So if you want to see the demo, make sure you subscribe. Press on that alert bell and like this video so that when the new video comes up, you will be notified. So the next one is other notification method. It has the same options, which is none, visual, visual and audible. This menu item is actually very interesting because there's not much information in the manual talking about what is other notification method. Going back to uh, older Toyotas and Lexuses that actually have roadside assist, other means other signs. So I'm assuming that this means other sign notifications, meaning if you have other types of signs that require notification, this is where the settings will be set up as. One of the interesting points is that in the European manual, it does say that the other notification method requires vehicles with navigation. And for the Americas and Australia, this is not a criteria. Next up is the excess speed notification level. The settings are 2 km per hour, 5 km per hour, or 10 km per hour. Or, for the folks who use miles per hour, it's 1, 3, or 5. And the folks in Australia, your manual actually says 1 km per hour, 3 km per hour, or 5 km per hour. I don't know why Australia actually has a different setting here. Do you have stricter rules? And that's why the maximum uh, is 5 km per hour. Leave comments below and let me know why Australia has different settings. Do you guys drive a lot more aggressive? I do feel that this is very important setting because it's annoying when you drive one kilometer over the speed limit and it starts giving you that red sign or it gives you a beeping noise telling you that, oh, you've gone past the speed limit. If there wasn't this setting, most likely I personally will turn off the excess speed notification. And the last setting is the driver brake suggestion. So that is really just to turn it on or turn it off. But what does that do? So what it is, is if the vehicle detects that you're swaying, there will be a message displaying and a warning buzzer telling you that the driver should take a break. Interesting feature, but I've never seen it myself. So there we have it. This ends the driving assist notification settings. Stay tuned on videos related to the Lexus NX, Lexus interface, and presumably this actually applies to the new RX and the LX. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. You can also press that bell icon to get alerted when new videos are out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers.